First tonight at 530 fallout after President Trump fired the head of the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs. David Sulkin's firing was announced in a tweet last night, but he's not going quietly, arguing he's being pushed out of his position. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado joins us now live with more. Steph. Well, after David Shulkin was fired by President Trump, he wrote in an op-ed that he was forced out because he was opposed to privatizing the VA. So we asked Rhode Island's Vets Director what a privatized system would even mean for our veterans. When it comes to policy changes at the VA, Rhode Island Veterans Affairs Director Kasim Yarn says he'll take his cue from the veterans. Our veteran dictates what I do, and it's just that easy. He says veterans have expressed concerns about the possible privatization of the VA's health care system. It's been crystal clear that our veterans have been against it. VA Secretary David Shulkin was fired by President Donald Trump on Wednesday, later writing in a New York Times op-ed that it was because he is opposed to putting veterans' health care in the hands of the private private sector, writing, quote, they saw me as an obstacle to privatization who had to be removed. The White House has denied that discussions to privatize the system are underway. President Trump said Thursday he does want veterans to be able to see private doctors. If we want them to have choice so that they can run to a private doctor and take care of it. Director Yarn says there are concerns about funding in Rhode Island if the system went private. It will require a more uh, burden on the states and the municipalities. He said if it is proposed, he'll work with the feds and local leaders to find the best solution. I'm a glass half full type of person, and I believe that uh, we're going to move forward. But again, as a state director, my primary focus is to work across state agency and at the municipality level as well to ensure that all our veterans uh, can make it here in Rhode Island. And Director Yarn also said he looks forward with to working with the newly nominated VA director, VA Secretary Ronnie Jackson, if and when he is confirmed. Live in Bristol at the Rhode Island Veterans Home, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.